President Kennedy was assassinated while riding through Dallas, Texas with his wife Jackie on November 22, 1963. Secret Service agent Clint Hill rushed to the presidential limousine seconds after the final shot struck the president. I thought it must have been a fatal wound, but I didn't know for sure. The only thing Mrs. Kennedy said was, oh, Jack, oh, Jack, what have they done? And then she said, Jack, I love you. Lee Harvey Oswald, a former defector to the Soviet Union, was charged with Kennedy's killing. Did you shoot the president? I didn't shoot anybody, no, sir. Oswald was gunned down two days later by nightclub owner Jack Ruby, fueling fears of a possible conspiracy. President Donald Trump announced in a tweet that he would permit the final batch of JFK files to be released, subject to review. A full release of documents could shed new light on Kennedy's murder, says expert Larry Sabato. It will be a significant moment because finally, after nearly 54 years, researchers will have all the information that the government has had and be able to reevaluate the Kennedy assassination. In particular, Sabato and other experts want to know what various government agencies knew and shared about Oswald's visits to the Soviet and Cuban embassies in Mexico City prior to the assassination. I want to learn more about what they really knew in advance and why, if we can find out from the documents, they weren't willing to communicate more with one another. The official Warren Commission report concluded Oswald acted alone, but the public has long been skeptical, says Sabato. The proportion of Americans believing in a conspiracy has ranged from 60 percent to 75 percent. So it's pretty clear that most Americans don't believe Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Despite the skepticism, no conclusive evidence has yet to surface to suggest anyone other than Oswald was involved in the assassination. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.